It's Casey Glass for Worship Resources Facebook group, uh, posting on uh, a comparison between Valhalla Shimmer and the Shimmer Bus. So uh, earlier this week, I posted a link to a YouTube tutorial on how to create the Shimmer effect without actually having to go and buy Valhalla Shimmer. Now, let me say, I think Valhalla Shimmer is a pretty good deal. Fifty bucks makes this effect pretty easy. It is pretty fantastic sounding. Uh, but if you don't have 50 bucks, and certainly in our line of work, uh, we're not exactly rolling in money, uh, you can certainly recreate the effect pretty uh, convincingly with some stock logic plugins. And here we have pitch shift, platinum verb, a delay, and then another platinum verb. And uh, in this video, I'm just going to compare the two. I'm not going to really get into the details of how to do the effects. The YouTube video I linked to does that well. Um, but just to give you an idea of what they sound like. So our input here is going to be the classic analog pad and Logic's uh, core uh, stock instruments. And so let's just take a listen to what that sounds like. So you can hear that it's a pretty full sounding synth. It's got decent frequency spectrum. It sounds pretty good. So. Uh, it'll make a certainly an effective input here for us. So, so now let's go ahead and listen to uh, the Valhalla Shimmer effect. We have it set up here to the Deep Blue Day preset, which is the classic Eno type shimmer effect. And first, we'll listen to just the pad, and then we'll kind of fade in the shimmer. So here we go. by itself. And you can hear it takes a while for the effect to kind of decay out. There's a lot of feedback going on inside of there. And so that was the pad by itself, the pad and the shimmer, and then we ended with just the shimmer by itself. So let's do the same thing with the stock kind of logic plugins that we have hooked up here. So again, we'll fade it in, uh, and then we will fade out the instrument and leave just the effect. And then for some reason it, it beats away weird on the left channel when I uh, cut off the play there. It doesn't seem to happen that way when playing live. Um, but that gives a good comparison of the two. So you can definitely tell they're not the same. It's not the same effect, but you can definitely get some good shimmering going with this. And quite frankly, I think if you mess with this enough, uh, you can get pretty close. And I would say the essential difference is there is that uh, Valhalla Shimmer on that preset has a lot more body. There's definitely a denser initial reverb happening. And so for us, we would do that here at this platinum verb. Uh, we would probably want to go ahead and um, lower our, our low frequency cut down a little bit more. Or, I mean, bring our frequency level up so that that's, uh, there's more low end material there, maybe our density up. But you can see that you can kind of mess with the settings and get closer to that Valhalla is certainly nice in that it makes, again, that all pretty easy. The controls are right here, so a little bit easier to work with. Uh, but for those of you who don't have Valhalla and aren't planning to get it anytime soon, try the Shimmer Bus out. I think it'll give you something good to work with. Anyway, that's it. This is Casey Glass. Bye.